color wheels in the primary's palette. The all around panel where you can fix bad lighting, make skin tones pop and totally destroy your image all before lunch. The primary's panel consists of three different pages but we're going to be focusing on the color wheels page. So the color wheels themselves, we have lift gamma game and offsets. Those are just fancy words for shadows, midtones, highlights, everything. Clicking on the wheel itself allows you to shift the color. Below, you can use the sliders to change the individual channels, as well as a reset in the top right corner. We also have the ability to set the white and black point of the image. Next, auto color, AKA let me guess. Sometimes it's magic, nailing exposure, white balance, and giving you a good starting point for a grade. Other times your footage looks like it was shot on Mars, processed through a toaster, and colored by caffeinated raccoons. Next, we have white balance eyedropper, sample something white, DaVinci Resolve will adjust the temp and tint according. Next is temperature. You can shift the image warmer or cooler. Follow that up by tint. This is for your green magenta shift. You would see this typically in like fluorescent. Fluorescent. Fluorescent light bulbs, Jesus. Sometimes yield a color cast. And that's when a uh, control like this would be necessary. Okay, moving on to contrast and pivot. These two controls work together. Contrast allows us to control the difference between the darkest and the lightest areas of the image. And pivot allows us to set the center point of where the contrast pushes from. For midtone detail, if we increase it, we can add in more edge contrast, think more texture, more detail. Going in the opposite direction, we will smooth low detail areas. Color Boost is Resolve's version of Vibrance from Lightroom, increasing color intensity, but only where needed. The shadow and highlight sliders work in a very similar manner. Shadows allowing us to bring up the darkest areas, highlights allowing us to pull down the brightest areas. Saturation should be pretty self-explanatory. Think of it like a volume knob to color. You go too high, you turn into a Skittles factory, you bring it all the way down. Q allows you to shift all of your colors around the color wheel. And then finally, one of the most ignored controls, Luma Mix allows you to control how much of your color adjustments affect the luminance or the brightness of the image. By default, this control is at 100, so all of your color adjustments could affect the brightness of the image. Dropping this all the way down to zero, you'll see no brightness shift, only pure color. And that was the primary's palette color wheels in three minutes. Remember, don't trust auto color, always double check your white balance, and Luma Mix is your secret weapon. And do me a favor, hit the like button if you wanna see more short videos like this one.